Hey guys. Retro Miller 1997 here. And I would like to talk about something before I start this video. And this is something that has been really getting under my skin lately and it has been happening on YouTube quite a bit. So here we go. So. What I have been hearing from people that if they comment on a certain video. Their comment gets deleted. Like say if someone commented on my video saying. That's a great video Retro Miller. And then the comment disappears seconds later. And they think I deleted their comment for no reason. But in reality. I did not. It's actually YouTube itself who's deleting your comments for no reason at all. Not me. And this has happened to me not too long ago. After I uploaded my first what do you think of these characters video. Brain A Academ commented on my video explaining his thoughts on the characters featured on my video. So I liked and hearted his comment like I usually do with all of my fans and viewers. Then I went on the making a new character afterwards and then as soon as I came back to check out the comments on my video. Brain of Cadam's comment disappeared. And then I was like. Oh no. I hope he doesn't get upset thinking I deleted his comment. And then I explained to him saying that it wasn't me who deleted his comment it was YouTube that actually took down his comment. And then he understood. So guys. If you ever comment on any of my videos and you see that your comment disappeared. Just to let you all know, it's not me who took down your comment. It is actually YouTube itself who is doing all of this. Plus, I would never delete your guys' comment for no reason at all. Well, that's all I have to say for now. I will see you guys right after Ellie's birthday special. Oh my. Today is my day off. And today is my birthday. And I feel like I wanna do a dance. <laughs> Ouch. That was quite a trip. I better be careful next time. I forgot that my floors in my bedroom are very slippery. Well, I better go get that. Oh. Hello there Mr. Andrews. Is there something wrong? Well. I was walking on this floor and then I heard some thumping and stomping and a big crash. Care to explain on what's going on in here? Oh, I'm sorry Mr. Andrews. I got pretty excited and decided to dance because today is my birthday and then I glided across the floor and I slipped down due to my bedroom floor being too glossy. I'm sorry that if I was too loud. Not only you were being too loud, but the fact that you glided across a glossy floor was pretty dangerous. You should be lucky that you didn't get hurt bad, otherwise, it could have been worse than right now. So next time, be more careful. Is that clear? Yes sir. I will be more careful. Good. And oh, by the way. Happy birthday Ellie. Why thank you. Hey. No problem. Well, I think I am going to cook up some breakfast. And then I will give Retro Miller 1997 a call to let him know it's my birthday and see if him and Jamie are available. After Eli was done with her breakfast. Well, now that breakfast is in the way, I will go ahead and call up Retro Miller on video chat. Well, Jamie, 
I'm gonna show you proof here that you cannot beat the Retro Miller 1997 himself. Oh yeah? And what's your proof now? Jamie, pause the game. Someone's calling me. Oh, it looks like Ellie's trying to video check me. I wonder what she wants. Yo, Ellie, what's good? Hi, Retro Miller. Hey, guess what today is? Uh, is it Tuesday? Not only that, today is my birthday. Hey, 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 happy birthday. Oh, by the way, Ellie, do you have work today? We're not doing anything. Luckily, I have today off. We should all meet up somewhere and celebrate this special day. That sounds like a perfect idea. Where do you think you want to go? Um, I don't know yet. How about we all think of some ideas, and if either of you has decided, call me back or text me. Okie dokie there, Ellie. We will let you know if we think of something. And if you think of something before us, then give us a call. Okay, Retro Miller. Will do. But for now, I'm gonna take my morning shower. Goodbye. Alrighty then. See you later. So today is Ellie's birthday. Yep, today is her birthday. And we need to think of something on where to go for her birthday. You have any ideas? Um, not any at the moment. Play the thinking music. Got you covered, buddy. Hey, Jamie, I know where we can go for Ellie's birthday. Really? What place are you thinking about? Well, I was thinking about reserving a dinner night at Red Lobster. That's a great idea, Trey Miller. We should reserve a table right now and... Now hold up, Jamie. Before we do that, aren't we forgetting something? What do you mean, Retro Miller? Oh, oh no! no! We need, we need to get, to get her, her a present. present. And, and her, her birthday is today. today. What are we all going to do? Well, Jamie, it looks like we're going to have to get Ellie a present somehow. And after that, we're going to reserve a table at Red Lobster for 6 o'clock. So what I want you to do is video chat Ellie and let her know that we reserved a place. But do not tell her it's at Red Lobster. Because it's a surprise. I'm on it. Hello, Jamie. Have you guys decided on where to go yet? We did. And we are going to reserve a table somewhere. At 6 p.m. But we can't tell you where yet. Because it's a surprise. Oh my goodness. Really? I totally love surprises. Let me know when you guys get to the place and I will be right over there. Totally. We will let you know when we are over there. Okay, Jamie. See you all then. Okay. Goodbye, sis. Gee, I wonder where it's going to be at? After Retro Miller and Jamie reserved a table at Red Lobster, they both went out shopping for a present for Eli. All right, Jamie. Now that we are at the mall, what store do you think we should go? Well, since she sings like Dinah Shore and is a big fan of her, why don't we go to a music store to see if we could find a Dinah Shore CD? Not only she likes Dinah Shore, she also likes Peggy Lee as well. And another thing I would like to mention is that she absolutely loves Munchkin Kitties. Wait, aren't you guys Ellie's co-workers? Why yes, <laughs> Ellie has told us all about you too. Allow me to introduce myself and my friends. Right next to me is Jessica. Why hello there you two. And right behind us is Paul and his lovely girlfriend Melissa. 
Melissa does not work for us. She just decided to tag along with us. It is so groovy to meet the both of you. And a true fact about me is, I also have autism as well. We all saw both of you kind of struggling on what to get Ellie for her birthday, and we were wondering if we could help you too. That would be a very great help if you guys did. Oh, and by the way, I also reserved a table at Red Lobster at 6 p.m. for Ellie. Would you all like to join us too? That would be so delightful. We would love to. And there's two more of our friends such as Mitchell and Keisha. Could we include them on this too? That is totally fine with me. I'll just call the place right now and let them know that there's going to be more people joining. Hi, I made a reservation for three people earlier, and I would like to add more people onto the list. Um, that would be six more people if that's possible. Thank you so much. Yep, you too. Bye. I put all of you on the reservation. And just to let everyone know that this is going to be a surprise birthday party, so do not tell Ellie about this. You are secret safe with us, my dude. She is going to love this. Let's go hunt for some birthday presents. everything that we need here. So do any of you guys have the time? I do. Right now it's currently 4 o'clock, which means we have only two hours to get to Red Lobster. So we should all go pick up our friends Mitchell and Keisha, then we will meet you all there. How does that sound? That's totally fine with me. And I have one present that's an animal. And you know what I'm talking about, Jessica, right? Oh, yes, that one. You may as give that present to Ellie at your house, because they will not allow that in the restaurant. I can take you both home first to drop that present off before we head over to Red Lobster. How does that sound to you? That is great thinking there, Jessica. We should get that out of the way, and while you three go pick up the rest of your friends. Great idea there, Retro Miller. We will go ahead and go pick up Mitchell and Keisha and we will all see you there, and oh. Retro Miller. When everyone arrives at Red Lobster, make sure you call Ellie and tell her to come, and if we all get there before you. We will let the restaurant worker know that it is a surprise gathering. You got it, my man. Now let's go take care of this business. When all of that has been taken care of, they all arrived at Red Lobster. Hello. Welcome to Red Lobster. How can I all help you? Yeah, I was the one that made that party reservation for uh, 10 people. It's a surprise party. Oh, you're that person. Come along this way. There you guys are. And when your other friend arrives here, I will walk her in here. You got it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna call her right now. Hi, Retro Miller. So, are you and Jamie at that place you're talking about? Yes, we are. And I have four surprises for you right now. Well, one surprise is that you have to get here. So basically, I'm going to tell you this one. Because if I don't tell you what the surprise place is that we're at right now, then you probably won't know how to get here. 
So me and Jamie are at Red Lobster right now, just waiting for you. And I have three presents for you. Two of them are at the restaurant with me, and one present is at my house. Oh, goody, goody, goody. I am on my way there right now. Hang on. <laughs> oh, boy, I can tell that you're excited right now, judging by your voice. Let's <laughs> see you there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> Looks like she's on her way right now. Her reaction is hysterical. <laughs> oh, I bet. Ha 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 ha. Why don't you sit down, Retro Miller, and I will introduce you to Mitchell and Keisha. All righty then. Hi, I am here to meet two people. My friend Retro Miller has made the reservation. Oh. Okay. Follow me right this way. Oh snap! Ellie's coming, everybody! Alright, ma'am. Here you are. Surprise! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Did you plan all of this for me in one day? And, how did you met my fellow co-workers? Well, me and Jamie went to the mall and decided what to get for your birthday. So we ran into your fellow co-workers and that's how we met them and they kind of helped me out on what to get for your birthday. So I invited them all to have dinner with us to make your birthday special. Because why not have all your friends celebrate your birthday with you that cares about you? Retro Miller, this is the absolute best birthday present ever. Thank you so, 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 very, very, very much. Gee, you're welcome, Ellie. Gotta celebrate your special day somehow, right? Totally. It is so great to be around all of my friends for my birthday. After they had such a great birthday meal and open presents, Retro Miller has just one more present to give to her at his house. Hey Retro Miller and Jamie, I just wanted to thank both of you for the gifts you gave me. Lizzie McGuire is like my favorite show of my childhood. And Jamie, thank you for the dinosaur CD that you gave me. You're, You're welcome, welcome Ellie. Ellie. Now Ellie. Are you ready for your final surprise birthday present? I sure am. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to put on these special sunglasses, and me and Jamie will both walk you up to the room where your birthday present is. Are you ready? You bet I am, Retro Miller. Okay, right this way. I removed my glasses yet? Your present is just behind this door here. Oh boy. Whatever it is. I can't wait. Alright. When I give the countdown from three, you may remove your glasses. In three, two, one, remove them. <coughs> Why? You, 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 you got me a munchkin kitty? Yes, I did. You see, back at the mall, your friend Martha mentioned that you like munchkin kitties. So I got one just for you. 
Thank you. Thank you once again for making my birthday the most special day of my life. You're welcome, Ellie. I'm very glad that you had a great birthday today. So, Ellie, what name are you thinking about for your cat? Yeah, it's a boy. Hey, I will name him after my great grandfather, Otis. That is such a lovely name. <coughs> well, well, well. It looks like Otis agrees with us too. <laughs> Hello everyone. This is Retremiller1997 here. And I hope you all enjoyed Ellie's birthday special. And just a heads up for you all. In some of my future videos, I will be doing some voice acting for my arbiter, and sometimes I will use in the Arcaf Steven voice whenever I am creating a video while my folks are asleep. And I would like to introduce you to Dummy Fan 2K9 and his fan made troublemaker. Dark Retro Miller 1997. Hey guys, this is Danny Irfan 2K9, and I do grounded videos on Logged Gone, and I also do grounded videos out of this guy. Dark Retro Miller 1997. That's right. Even though I do not exist and not a canon character in Retro Miller 1997's world, I still exist in Downy of Fan 2K9's universe and Lambda Plotagon. Okay, can we go now? Not yet. We need to watch Retro Miller do his outro. Okay, fine. Oh, anyways. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos. And also go subscribe and check out Donnie Fan 2K9's channel. This is Retro Miller 1997 signing out.